934, welcome back. Lotus, a German Shepherd dog from Fallbrook, has been selected as one of the winners of the AKC Humane Fund Award for canine excellence in the category of a service dog. Lotus and their handler, Asia Duhamel, joins me now to share more. Lotus is just, is she taking a nap? Lotus, <laughs> good Asia, tell us a little bit about Lotus and oh, what sorry. it means to you. Hi, no, it's okay. Hi, we're I'm becoming sorry. best friends. Tell us about yourself and your relationship with Lotus. Lotus, come here. I'll get her to sit first. Lotus, sit. You got excited, <laughs> didn't you? Lotus, sit. I don't have the treats. Lotus. <laughs> Lotus, sit. Sit. Oh, treat bag. Yes, there it down. is. <laughs> Asia, what sit. is the AKC award? Uh, so the AKC award is um, the ACE award awards for canine excellence. Um, so they select five different types of dogs um, for different types of categories of working. And one of the categories was service dog. And uh, Lotus is a task trained service dog for me for my disabilities. Um, and they just ha so happen to like our story. Uh, Can you share more of your background and your relationship with Lotus when you two got paired together? Yeah, so I was still active duty at the time in the Marine Corps. Um, I was struggling a lot with PTSD, depression, and um, some physical pain as well. Lotus, come here. And um, Lotus, come. Here we go. Come on, Lotus. What's she looking at? She's looking at the scary camera. We have a lot of dogs on come KUSI. Here. and. 90% of them don't like the big scary cameras, so we'll let Lotus just have her treats. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, so continue if you will. Um, <laughs> she's letting me know that I'm not feeling the greatest yeah. right now. Ray right, Lotus? Um, so we were still, uh, I was still active duty at the time, um, struggling a lot with my mental health. And um, I ended up getting her through an organization that I didn't really like. Um, from that point, I decided that I was going to train uh, dogs on my own, that I would do better than them. Um, and I started uh, my journey as a dog trainer. From there, she and I went through Next Step Service Dogs in Escondido, which is an organization that trains service dogs for veterans. Um, and I became a ADI accredited through them. I started my apprenticeship through them, start learning how to become a dog mm -hmm. trainer, um, and now I work as a dog trainer at canine support teams and training service dogs for veterans and other people with disabilities. What does earning this award mean to you and how far you've come with Lotus? Honestly, I, I was shocked that they would pick us. Um, I had no idea it was going to work that way. Like, I, usually it's a popularity contest or something like that. But in this situation, I think it was just because of our genuine bond. Um, and it means a lot because, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter what anyone else says or, um, you know, I don't, I don't need the um, encouragement from everyone mm -hmm. else to be able to do what I do. But it feels nice to be appreciated and acknowledged for um, how far we've come. And she's almost retired now. She's almost eight, and I don't really take her out as much as I used to. But um, so, what is a day in the life for Lotus? Uh, typically, I take her to work with me on days that I don't go to the prison pup program. So I go into the prisons and teach the inmates how to train dogs. Wow. Um, so the days that I don't go to prison, I'll take her with me, um, and she'll help with other dogs. She's very dog neutral, and so the other dogs can um, learn a lot from her. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's used as a demo dog a lot. Uh, I need to show them uh, another person how to give a command or what it, the command should look like mm -hmm. after you give the command. Um, she's a great example of that because she's been doing it for so long. And um, for the most part, she just hangs out and lets me know when I'm not feeling that great. And uh, it, it's it's a perfect combo. And she's she she'll take a nap. For the most part, uh -huh. she's getting older and kind of lazy. But well, I can just see that you both yes. have an amazing relationship, <laughs> best friends. So, Asia, thank you so much for joining us on Good Morning San Diego, and thank you for your service. Thank you.